Hey everyone. Yeah, just give it a couple more seconds and then we'll get started. Came on a little tiny bit early. Sorry about this shadow. What is that? That's from my phone. Oops. You know why? I flipped my mat over. Usually it's black so you don't see that. <clears throat> I wonder what to do. Anyway, let's just get busy because I have a lot to show you and share with you tonight and to tell you and there's so much happening. So tonight we are releasing our Love Shape Shaker. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. I wonder if that works. Let's see. Oh, and you can see my shadow too. Oh boy. I bought all these fancy lights. All right, so I think you may have seen some of these on the website. I have shared this teal and pink. It's ombre, if you can't tell. Let me see if you can see that close up. So this one's a light pink, a little bit darker, darker, darker. I thought it was really pretty. See it in person, you can see all the detail. And here's another. I did this on craft cardstock on white and then a craft cardstock base. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I did it all in red and I just filled it with white pops only. And I was showing my husband this one today. Remember that game we used to play as kids where you try to get the one ball into the spot and let it get it right in the right spot and let it sit there? I don't know what that's called. But anyway, this... Every letter is connected, so I can get all of those top things out of the E if I do it right. Now they're all in the L and the O. I think it's really kind of fun. A kid would love this. If you've got any kids and you're thinking about Valentine's Day, don't block off any of those letters. I think they'd have a really fun time with this kit, this one. Okay, and then today I created this, and you and I together are going to put this one together. It's not just the foam. It's actually on a card base. So I'm gonna show you how to do that later today. Tonight, it's night. It's eight o'clock here where I am. So it's a little earlier probably where you are. So let me bring my light, this light a little closer. Maybe that'll cut down on some of the, some of the shadow, I hope. Let's hope. I think it's the, the ceiling light in my room. Um, there's one right above where I stand, and I think it just drops shadow everywhere. So I need to work on that. Okay, so let's get busy. First of all, the new kit is called... Where did it go? Oh, it's right in front of me. The new kit is called Love Shape Shaker. It comes with the outline die. It comes with the die that cuts all the pieces apart, gives you the trim on the... Um, on the word love and it comes with this really super cute little heart which i love comes with four acetates and four foams so you can make four of these but as you know we sell foam refills so if you want to grab yourself some of those i highly recommend it if you do get this kit because once you start making it you're going to love it now this kit does not come with toppings or anything like that. It's a shaped shaker, so it comes with minimal things. It's a cheaper version of our kits so that people can use what they have in their own stash to build on the set and be able to do as many or more options for, you know, not everybody wants to get the big kit with all the embellishments. They've got their own papers or things like that. So that kit is for them. The other big thing I wanna to talk to you about tonight well, this, that kit is for everyone. It's just you can have to use your own papers or papers that you have of ours or, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And your toppings, we have several toppings available, but you can use your own or you can buy these beautiful little hearts that are going to be free tonight with a $25 purchase. Now, as always, this discount or this free gift exempts all other discounts or using your crowns because our our system only allows for one coupon to be put in and if you earn or if you spend $25 it automatically puts the coupon in for you getting this free gift so you cannot use crowns or anything like that so be ready for that and be aware of that but you do get all three of them you get a nice pretty white a pink and a red so tonight, I think I'm going to be using the white and the red. So I'm going to keep these right here. We're going to use these. And I'm going to set this aside so you can remember that 
along the way, you will be able to get a free, free gift if you purchase $25. So here I put, put together um, this card today and I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit more manly. So this is really girly and I would love to receive this. But then I thought, what would my husband love to receive? So of course, out on my desk still, is the Woodland Wonder paper pack. How gorgeous would these blues be used in a manly style um, card like this? So I wanted to show you how to put this together. I had to figure out how to put it together first. Um, and then I wanna show you how to put it together. And so I made a girly one and now we're gonna make a manly one for the men or women who like dark colors, whatever. So there is gonna be some cutting involved in this one because I wanna, first show you how I am going to make this card flip like this. So first you're going to start with the outline die and you're going to put it on your card base. So this is a, if you look here, we are going to start with the card base like this. I'm so excited about this. I'm probably talking so fast because I think this is so cute. You're going to need a low tack tape, low stick or low tack tape. This is easy C. You can use washi tape, anything like that. Now, if I cut this out right here, it's not going to have a folding card. So you want to bring it up where the, I brought it where the O and I tilted it a little and let the E have some overlap as well. So this way I'll have two connections and not just one, because if I just have one, sometimes um, it it falls apart, it gets a little flimsy, but this one for sure is very much like a card. It's got two hinges, and I think that's important. Now, I do have my little baby machine here, little baby, I call it a baby because it's finicky. My plug doesn't work all the time. Um, I have to wiggle my plug, I really need a new one. So, look how, this. The, you, here is what you can tell um, who's a crafter, who does a lot of crafting. I replace these off so often, it's crazy. So with the low-tech tape, I'm going to have the O and the E a little bit above the seam on the folded card. Now, I did find I needed to run this through. I ran it back, I ran it through, then back, then through, then back again. So I did run it through four times to get it through those that two-ply card base. So hang on a second, because I don't know how much noise this is making for you. So I ran it through. It's just pushing back. You guys, if you don't have this Sizzix electrical one or the Tim Holtz electric big shot, Sizzix, whatever it's called, boy, you are missing out. I just sit here and push a little button to my left. I can be doing things here, of course, but I can't because I can't do two things at once. I can't talk and chew bubble gum, I'll tell you. Okay, so I ran it through four times, and let's see if it's good enough. It's got a little static to it. So you can see through the back that it did do pretty well. I am able to pick that out. I don't quite want to move. Okay, the O isn't quite good enough, so I am going to send it back through one more time, forward and backwards. You could do a shim. It would create a little bit more res resistance, and it might cut a little better for you but I'm always afraid that I'm gonna break my die, I'm gonna break my plastic boards. So I'll just take the few extra minutes and cut it again. Oh, now look, that's perfect. So it, it, it took three three times going through. Well, how come this one's not? Oh, it's not cutting here because of the tape on the front. Oh my goodness. And maybe it's too late for me. It's only eight o'clock or 809 now. Okay, so carefully peel off the tape. But you know what, it really doesn't make a difference because I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So I'm gonna save these, pe oh my goodness, don't do that. You bend, don't bend your die. Okay, so here you go. Got all my tape off. I wanna show you how you, um, sorry, it was stuck to my finger, I couldn't get it off. It's my goodness. It's kind of dirty. You can see that my cutter, because it was pressing so hard, left some stuff there. But that's really not a big deal to me because I do want to cut the base 
And this is a light gray piece. Can you see? I did it. I'm going to do it in light gray because I want you to see how the two differences. But you won't even notice my light gray. So now I'm going to take the outline die, cut it through one more time on the gray paper or solid white or a color that you want. Blue, red, pink, white, whatever. I was so proud of myself today when I text Wendy and said, oh my God, I've got such a brilliant idea for tonight. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. So now I have a <clears throat> full love front. And when I add it to the, the love card, see how there's there it's missing some of it? It's gonna put all of that right back in place. So now the O is complete, the E is complete. I'll show you. I'm gonna use some adhesive. I love a good tape runner so much easier fast drying but there's no forgiveness with the tape runner you don't get the forgiveness over the movability you do with a wet glue boy I promise you I will have the shadow part fixed for the next time sorry about that okay so so now you see the complete love if I turn it over you can see here the grays hanging over the top on the O and the E and that's how you get a hinge and your card stays together. Well, when my husband saw it, he's like, well, where are you gonna write? You can't write in it. Well, he likes to write lots of stuff because I'm so awesome. However, I could write in this for him. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, you can write on the O, there's plenty of room. You can flip it over and write on the O again if you need some more, if you wanna write an arrow. You've got quite a little bit of space here. But really, I think whoever you're gonna give this to, because all the people we give cards to do cartwheels and somersaults when we give them such a wonderful gift. Those people are going to really love this. So here is my card base. I'm going to set that aside because now I have another trick. In this card, can you see that I only have the O shaking? I was, I was so excited about that idea too. So I left the foam in the LVE and cut out and had the O be the opening for the shaker. So how I did that, sorry, I put a tool away, was I carefully take, took a, an X-Acto knife and I, or any type of a sharp blade, and I cut it from the O to the, and the B side, the V side. You can see where I've cut it here. Now I'm gonna go over here between the O and the L and cut right there. It doesn't matter that I might be making a little bit of a mess with the foam because I'll show you why. All right, so there we go. I think I have it. I wanna make sure all that paper is cut on the back side as well. So now I'm just gonna pop out the O and all of the rest of the foam is in place and the only part that will be a shaker is the O. Is that not cool? I was so happy, so excited. I just loved the idea. Hold on, I grabbed my chair so I could get a little bit closer. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add this to the front of my album, uh, front of my album, front of my card. I'll move it a little closer to you. So what I did today was probably the long way to do it. So. I'm actually going to take off all of the foam, or all of the backing of all of the foam. So let's see, it's like a snake. I try to get it all off in one, one try and then it rips and I'm like, shoot, I wanna try again with another one. All right, there we go. So it's all, all going in the trash. Sometimes I find when it's so sticky like that, it's easier for me I don't know about you, but it's easier for me to put the paper down on, on the foam. It may not work for you, it works for me. I'm able to line that up, line that up, maneuver the V into place. I am a little worried about the O getting a little, oh, it fell right into place perfectly. And now I have the foam on the front, right? So earlier, because I wanted to, be time managed, have time managed a little bit. I went ahead and I cut out all of the L O V E colors that I wanted. And I knew I wanted to have the blue 
as the love part, right? And so then I cut out each little letter that in a different pattern from the Woodland Wonder Kit. So here's the L-O-V-E. So I'm going to put the O. Ooh, I like the gray. Ooh. Ooh, I wish I could create and talk at the same time. Do you think... Do you think I should do gray or polka dot? The rest of them are pat. <gasps> I was not expecting to do gray, you guys, but I think I'm going to do gray. Let's try it. Let's go on a whim. Now, I you cannot use the back side of the L, V, and E. They're definitely not um, perfectly symmetrical. So this is bigger than that. So you can't like flip it and use the yellow side. It wouldn't work. But the O completely works. So again, you, I'm sure many of you now have a heat tool. I just want to make sure that it's not too um, staticky in there before I get started. So the, and the other thing that I did is I took one of the, the love. I don't think you can see this. How can I get you to see this? Let's see. Maybe I can show you like this. Can you see this O? I trimmed out just the O of the acetate. I probably could have left the whole entire thing on, but I just kept the O. Anyway, you probably could do the whole entire thing. So I'm just using those Q sticky notes. I think I've used this Q five or six times so I don't lose my my acetate and you can use it. I'm, I, it has so much stick. I'll be able to use this one many more times before I have to move on and get another one. So remember that don't just use it once and throw it away. I keep it tucked away and keep using it. So I decided that <clears throat> I wanted to use the giveaway tonight and my teeth to open the bag. So I'm going to put in some white hearts. This is the main item that I want in there. So I'm going to add it first. See how much I think I like. Make sure that there's no misshapen ones or some that stick together and are double thick. I think that'll be cute. Now, these shaker bits won't go in the V or the L because it's completely blocked off with the foam. From my stash, I did pull out some uh, blue, some old blue. Those are like the rubles, but they're not... Um, they're not the metal kind. They were, I think they were still rubles. They're really a cute shape. They're from my stash. And I just tried to pick out colors that I thought would be helpful to um, emphasize the color in my card. I didn't want to do pink. I didn't want to do red because I wanted to try to get this one manly. So I'm going to take that same X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut off or I'm going to slice the paper where I think it, well, this isn't working. Sorry pushing hard enough so I can just get the paper around the O off right see how and then I can even rip it with my fingers if I want there's a little bit here so I want to move that I'll just pull some of that off too I probably should have done this before I filled it because nothing is worse than jerking your shaker and the bits go flying everywhere so I have found my let me put my cue back so I found my O, the O of the acetate. And if you didn't want to just cut out the O, you can completely leave it all together. You take the entire stick off of everything and place your acetate down. But I find it tricky to place acetate down and not stick to everything without all of that exposed. If that was all expo exposed, I would, I, yeah, it would be a mess for me. So what I did next was then now I'm going to uncover everything. I am going to just carefully, well, actually I don't have to be so careful anymore. Oh, that lifted it that. Because my guts to my shaker are already sitting, sitting and are stable inside of the O. And they're not going to fly everywhere unless I was extremely um, aggressive with it, then I'm sure it could come apart, but I'm, I'm hopefully not that aggressive. So I am going to place down my L-O-V-E. So I want to just kind of grab the V and E in my hand. You guys would do this a little different than I would, but I want to make sure that the L gets lined up properly. 
And if you hear that snoring, which might maybe sound like my stomach growling, it's my two French Bulldogs that you saw a picture of this week underneath my feet, snoring as loud as can be. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be talking and doing this. Again, that whole two things at one time. Okay, let's see. Let's get this straight on there. I want to try to get my corners matched up pretty, pretty well on every letter. So I'm not really pressing until I know I've got them all down. And now I've got them in place, I can press them down. But this is still sticky, see? Now, for the L and the V and the E, I did back them with foam tape, so I'm going to quickly, I would, I would say quickly, but removing the back side of the foam tape is never quick. So I will put the L down carefully where you will not see any of the sticky. Put that right in place. <gasps> Ooh, even, oh, I would love to get this one. I might keep this one myself. Just pretend someone gave it to me. I love it. So I love I love decorating for all seasons. Oh, I ripped the whole tape off that one. And so my friend and I, I had taken the dogs to the groomer. So I went to have breakfast with a friend of mine. And we went by TJ Maxx. Well, they had, I was so conflicted. I wasn't sure what holiday I was celebrating. Because they had Valentine's Day, St. Patrick Day, and Easter all out in the store. So I love St. Patrick's Day first. I mean, Valentine's Day first. I don't have a whole lot. What I do for Valentine's Day for decorations is since my boy was little, I have always kept the chocolate boxes that he or I were given. So I have a lot of vintage and old stuff. Like I have a lot of red things. So I bring out all my red things and I place the, uh, sorry, there we go, chocolate boxes all around my house in different places. I stack them up. I lean them up against pictures. This one didn't go in place. Um, and I absolutely love it. This year, my husband was like, I thought this box was really cool. And it was a velvety red box from, um, oh boy. See, talking and doing something at the same time. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can't fix this. That didn't quite work. So uh, he went to Walgreens and we were there the other day and I'm like, oh, I like that. And he went back to Walgreens, got it for me and surprised me. So it was really actually kind of cute and I love and I love it. So now it's a great new addition to my um, Valentine box collection. But because he knows I collect them, 20 bucks says I get another one for Valentine's Day. So this... This E is fitting here, but it's a little low there, and you can see a little bit of the white. But I think it'll be okay. All right, so I thought I was having to raise it up, and that wasn't the problem at all. So if you've noticed, I haven't had to use glue for this at all because the foam adhesive did all of the connecting, and then I added foam tape behind these, and then that did the connecting. So I think I was right in choosing to do the gray. What was the other side? Let's look. Oh, I don't remember. So before I get done with the whole collection, I keep all, every size piece of paper. Because what if I need to make a little baby heart or a little baby flower? I can totally use some of that space. But I do keep it, again, in the, the same bin or in the same paper um, collection. Okay, here's, here's the back side of it. Oh yeah, I like the gray better than the polka dot for this card. All right, so let me throw that aside since I've already made a great big mess. I don't know where to put it. Okay, so now we have our entire card made and I'm gonna complete this card for you. So Ginger, the other day, I, when I made my first two cards, I hadn't seen Ginger samples. And I'm telling you, she, remember these old flowery, clumpy things? She used them. Look how gorgeous they are. But she used like several. She has such a knack with placing things everywhere. Everywhere. I just love it. So one thing I haven't told you yet is I think I want to kind of want to put him there. 
and I want to have a little heart coming up above him. See that heart peeking out? So I need some wet adhesive. I am going to put a little bit, actually quite a bit of glue behind this flower right here. I want to make sure it doesn't come up. There it is, and I want it right about there. So she had the most gorgeous decorations to her cards, and I had made that these two cards, and they were so plain in comparison to hers. But you know what? Sometimes some people like plain, some people like a lot of decor. It all, you know, depends on what you like. Oh, I might have to stick this in. Do you think that's too big? The flower's so big. I think it could work. Hold on a minute. Let's move the heart up a little bit so we can move the flower. Oh, he's already sticking. That's fantastic. Now I'm going to shove that yellow big old button in there. These fabric buttons were my favorite buttons to use, the favorite fabric buttons that she's ever put out. I love these guys. And Wendy asked me, do you think they're too big for your cards? I'm like, whew, not my cards. I love bling and texture and clumping and layers and thickness. But of course, I hand deliver most of my cards. I try not to, if I do deliver them, I will deliver them with a box with something in it. Um, so then there, I'm not paying postage for the card. But you do have to be cautious with how much you want to pay for shipping. Was it Marie Oberg the other day asked if Queen and Company had was in cahoots with the postal system because she was weighing all of her cards and mailing them off. That is one thing that you have to do um, with the shaker cards. Now, any of these cards can be made flat without shakers. Um, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. But I'm afraid to move because my button's not sticking because that it's on that acetate. All right, let me switch sides here and just kind of rest this on for now. All right, we'll leave that alone. So I don't, I don't, I think I've started four conversations with you and haven't finished a one. So anyway, um, make sure if you use a button like that, you do put it in a padded envelope for protection um, because it won't go through the regular mailing system. You will need to pay for extra shipping. Okay, did you guys see these? These just arrived and they are now in the shop for sale. Um, they are a set of four happy hearts. And if you look closely, there is a clear, a pink, a red, and an iridescent. And I absolutely love them. Now, I used an iridescent on... Didn't I use an iridescent over here? I did. I don't know if you can see this or not, but because it's iridescent and it's right next to the purple, that heart looks purple. Can you see that? So I really think if you take that iridescent and you put it next to red, it's going to look red or pink. It's going to look pink. Can you? See? I'm hoping that you can see that. Maybe I get a little closer. I love it. Doesn't it look purple? That is not a purple heart. It's the iridescent heart. So be sure to check these out in the store today too. So not only do you get a free free um, topping option, you also um, have a new heart option to check out or heart, um, not that these heart toppings are free for, with a 25 purchase, but these are available if you need help trying to get to 25. I personally don't need help shopping. Um, I'm capable of doing it on my own. That is for sure. So I had another card that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> and we're going to throw together really quickly. I hope you guys have a little bit of time to hang out with me. But do you remember these, but these flowers? They're still in the shop. And I was thinking I might use a pink and a white one on this card. So I wanted to give you a little glimpse at the up and coming um, backdrop dies. You've seen the last set. Well, here's like an argyle type of a, can you see all the stitching? Type of a background. They're not available yet, but they will be in the store within the next month, I believe. Um, we're just waiting still for some um, parts of that to come in or I think something like that um, to be 
have what we need complete before we can start selling it. So I just ran that through craft cardstock, and here's my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach that. What I want you to see today is that if you run out of, or you don't, if you run out of foam, or you are waiting for more foam to come in the mail, or you want to really mail something off, but you don't wanna take it to the post office and figure out how much the postage is, you can make a flat card. And we're gonna do just that with this love. I believe this is gray again. So we're just going to use adhesive, absolutely no foam tape on this one. So it's a flat card and it's a non-shaker. So you can create shakers and non-shakers with this. So I just, this is from the um, Love Foundation set. I don't think I've ever used this die before and I don't know why, because now it's gonna be in my little favorite stash and I'm gonna use it all the time. It's adorable. And I love the idea of just making a little line on the bottom of the card because it, there's a little bit of extra space when you put your love down. And I wasn't sure what to do. I wanted to do some twine. I couldn't find Queen & Company twine that was exactly the right color. So I, let's see. So I might just try to tie on some of my vintage twine. Oh, that's pretty. So you just apply a solid base down. That makes it a lot easier for me to, um, to build these all these pieces on because if not you've got all these pieces that you've got to try to fit together like a little puzzle piece but if you have the base down it makes everything easier so i was talking to a friend of mine the other day and she asked me for some tips on um dealing with small pieces but i have these reverse tweezers and um i use these to hang on to my onto my stuff so that it doesn't it doesn't lay down flat on the ground or it really works for me for small pieces, but I wanna go ahead like a shaker and line my die cut piece with a thin line of glue. I still, even though there's no acetate involved, I don't want any glue sh seeping out over the edge and showing um, because sometimes that can just look dirty. It can also, um, it just can stain your paper that where you may not want it. So I also use these reverse tweezers so I can have control above it, above the die that's down, the die cut that's already down, so I am not touching glue everywhere and staining things like I just mentioned. So hopefully this is looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna let go and start piecing that piece down. So right now, all I have on this is paper. <coughs> And that's my plan today is just to have paper on this card and with a little tiny bit of embellishments. Um, you, the embellishments that I have chose, you, it's not my fault. I love to layer. I love, like I said earlier, clumps and, and all these types of textures. So I did choose these and they're a little thick. You can use our floral foundations and make hearts or flowers out of paper. You don't have to have something that's two or three dimensional like, like these are. You can go a little simpler with paper flowers that will smush and get into a flat envelope. You don't have to be thick and have padded envelopes for all your cards. You can do it this way as well. But it's all so fun to see the versatility of these shaker kits that Ginger makes. And um, I think this one was made by Kim. Uh, but it's fun to see the versatility in these shaker sets that you don't have to have shakers or you can have shakers. There we go. So now we have it placed, placed down. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love the love. Isn't that cute? Okay, so... I placed these just for simplicity here, but I'm not gonna finish this card off because I'm gonna add, if I were to finish it off, I would add thickness and, and these types of things. And I should have cut some paper flowers so you could have seen how that would look with less thickness and easy to mail. Plus, um, 
you can see how you can make a non-shaker with the same set. So I'll move off these off to the side. Now, Ginger and I both used sentiments on these cards. As you can see here, this one, um, so glad our hearts found each other. I believe that is from the, uh, the hearts shaped shaker, I think. This one here is from the PS I Love You, and you are the piece that holds us together. But honestly, this is all, this is a word. It's a sentiment in itself. So you don't have to have a sentiment or a sentiment strip on there. But there you go. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? I, I know my favorite. These two are my favorite, and I think... I think the blue one is my favorite because it's so different for Valentine's Day. I normally don't do blue. Of course, teal and pink, that always works. But I'm so glad you guys joined me tonight. Again, remember that we have some new bling hearts in the shop. They're called Happy Hearts. And I believe they're sold as a bundle. So you get all four for that price. And then you also spend $25. It's automatically going to pop up on your on your page when you go to shop, that if you spend $25, you will get these three toppings. So good luck shopping, have a good time. Thank you for sitting with me today, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer them as the evening goes on. You guys have a great day, thanks for joining me.